Hey y'all. So this evening I was surfing the net and um, saw a YouTube video pop up. Uh, John Mayer and Steve Miller, The Joker. And it's uh, from John's solo tour uh, in Madison Square Garden last night. And so he brought on Steve Miller to join him on a solo tour. Uh, and I got a kick out of watching this. And so I'm going to do a little bit of a reaction and a small breakdown of how the song goes as, as far as I can figure it out. Um, and so let's, uh, let's dig in. Space cowboy, so gone in the gates of love. Some people call me Maurice, like a puppet in silver. Looks like they're having fun, and the audience is, is going nuts during this. They just keep getting louder. Um, so this song um, is in the key of E. So we'll go back here a little bit. So you, you can tell that this is uh, you know a one four five progression, and it's actually a one four five four back to one. So you know. And you know, there's so many songs that have that. I, I think like La Bamba is that as well. Anyways, um, but what's kind of cool is that uh, John is is comping basically with kind of a, a rhythm that that grabs bits and pieces of the chords that are in the progression uh, with a running bass line. And, and Steve's instrument, I think it's maybe like a, a larger mandolin. It has a lot of strings on it. looks like 12 strings. Uh, it's tuned differently. So when, uh, when John is playing, say, uh, you know, a B chord, you'll see very clearly that Steve is uh, playing uh, what looks like a D chord. So different tunings. But uh, John kind of, uh, you know, uses the, uh, the major pentatonic to hit the bass notes and grabs bits of the chords. So if you have an E, you can grab part of uh, the E chord just by hitting this little uh, dyad here, which is uh, the root and the fifth. So... And then he grabs this little root and fifth on, uh, on the A. And then he just kind of just repeats that. And I'm sure if I practice it for this evening, I'll get down the groove, but it's like a... And just drives that rhythm all the way through. You'll see him occasionally grab some, uh, some triad uh, versions like... So let's watch that a little bit more. Some people call me the space cowboy. So down in the gates of love. Some people call me Maurice. Just going nuts. Um, 
I think uh, Steve Miller is getting close to 80 years old. I think he's 79. He looks pretty good for 79. Uh, his voice doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, I guess people, as they get older, their voice can't hit the high ranges anymore. So I'm almost 100% sure that this is not the key the original recording was in. Uh, but it sounds great. It's a lot of fun. Who doesn't know the words to this, right? Um, by the way, that's uh, John Mayer's new signature guitar. I think they go for like 10 or 15K. I got a chance to, to play one of them uh, at the Crossroads Festival. And uh, it sounds like his, you know, JM model it just has uh, different tone woods. And it, it you know, feels like any other uh, uh, John Mayer signature. I wouldn't pay... 20000 for it, but uh, I wouldn't throw it out of uh, the room if someone gave me one. <laughs> uh, I'd really like to know what uh, Steve Miller is uh, playing, so if anyone knows what that is, if they can tell me in the comments, I'd appreciate it. audience try to do that woo, woo, woo. <laughs> very cool uh, so I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit uh, to where uh, John does one of the solos and that's kind of interesting how he does that uh, he actually does a smaller solo and then kind of trades off with with Steve Miller and then he does this uh, nice mixolydian uh, solo <laughs> So, uh, I guess Steve didn't want to do a solo, but uh, he kind of emphasized a little bit more. But you were watching uh, uh, John do these uh, sixes right here, which are, you know, the inverse of minor thirds. So if you have a, a major sixth, the in, it's an inversion of a minor third. going to spend some time learning that because that was kind of slick and you know after this little bit of trade-off he he just continues on with the with the theme So you can hear him throwing in, uh, you know, Grateful Dead, Dead and Company type uh, Mixolydian licks uh, merged in with uh, some minor pentatonic blues. It's really kind of cool how he how he pulls that together. Uh, you can hear a lot of uh, Dead and Company influence. Uh, it's too bad that uh, their last tour, uh, I missed it, but uh, that doesn't mean that they won't get to play it again. Uh, the Grateful Dead never seem to die. They just come back in a new incarnation. And I was lucky enough to see 
The Grateful Dead when I was younger. Just never got to see Dead & Company. In fact, Crossroads was the first time I got to see John Mayer live, which was a real treat. I wish uh, that I could have kept up the videos that I had. Uh, there was a lot of fun, but uh, copyright strikes or not. Let's see, do they do the woohoos? Peace, love, and happiness, and then a handshake. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, again, that was uh, from John Mayer's solo tour uh, last night, Madison Square Garden, uh, October the 3rd, uh, with Steve Miller playing the Joker. And uh, the chords are, you know, one, four, five, one in the key of E, all major. And there might have been some um, dominant sevenths in there, perhaps on the five because that's a good place to throw in a dominant, right? And uh, it's a lot of fun. So watch it while you can. Um, have a good night. <laughs>